Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special one. This is the 2023 120th anniversary CVO Road Glide with the big 117 producing 105 brake horsepower, 126 foot pounds of torque, and she's a big girl, she's 963 pounds, but it has all the fixings. All the fixings. Beautiful engine. Beautiful head covers. Oh, this is everything you'd ever want on a bike. Bags, tour pack, big pack rest on the back of this. Oh my goodness. This seat is so comfortable. I think it's heated. This is heated. Whew, man. This is a very stout motorcycle. It really is. But the paint on this is beautiful. She ain't light. She's heavy. I have to reach a little bit to get to that foot peg. Or the... back up a little bit so I can get around this cone all right you got lowers on this too huge huge back huge back brake whoo nice pull all right let's get on the road yeah. oh huh you know what, this bike is, I believe, 52, yeah, $52,000. This is not cheap. But, that's okay. Full disclosure, this is probably the most expensive motorcycle I've ridden. That's a VMAX. Very nice. Very nice. So right now I'm riding one of the biggest, baddest Harley you can buy. And this is the anniversary edition, so they've only made, I believe, 1,500 of these. A lot of wind protection on this bike. A lot of wind protection. This is a mile muncher right here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck, that bird's right in the middle of the road. <laughs> Don't hit the bird. Don't hit the bird, please. You know, I'm, as I'm riding this thing, this is this is more playful than the other bikes. This is more playful. It feels lighter than it is. I mean, this is eight, uh, 963 pounds claimed wet weight. But it doesn't, honestly, it doesn't feel 963 pounds. It, I don't know, it's weird. It's, it's different. This paint is immaculate. My God. It's the biggest thing I love about Harley Davidson is the paint. Wow. Everywhere you look, the finishing touches on the Harley is really good. Really good. You know, you're just a bike like this you got to be you got to have some cash without a doubt but man yeah that that was a big bump that I just hit I didn't feel anything nothing not a thing super comfortable mile munching bike right here. You can ride this bike for hours and hours and hours and never have to worry about it. The only time you're stopping is for gas.
love the fact that Harley lets people take this out. But according to Harley, not a lot of people want to take it out because they're afraid. And I don't know why. Honestly, I don't. Is it the cost? I mean, if you drop it, you drop it. I mean, it is what it is. But this bike is very, very easy to ride. Full disclosure, it's very easy to ride. It's not difficult at all. This is, of, of the Harleys I've ridden, this is one of the easiest ones. I don't know why. What the, you know, ah, very playful. Look at that. It's very playful. I mean, this route is not spirited. It's a very playful, it's, it's very light. Oh, wow. For, for the heaviest bike they got, this is so light. Oh, my Lord. Slow speed maneuvers. Yeah. Just, I didn't even put my foot down there. Just kind of creeping forward. And... No, this is... This is really good. Good. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. I'm going to do our U-turn challenge on this big, big girl. <laughs> all right. So let's lock it in. Revs up. <laughs> She's a big girl. <laughs> She's a big girl. <laughs> that was terrible. I didn't turn my head very much. I didn't get the revs up. That was that was not good. Not good at all. Uh, it was just the way that the throttle response is. You know. No, actually, you know what? I think that was my fault. I think I was in second gear. So in second gear, I did a U-turn. And it was really bad. <laughs> it, could, it could be a lot better, but it's still going to be about where the other ones are. It's not going to be the tightest U-turn in the world. Oh, everything about this bike, though, is so smooth. It really is. It's so smooth. Scooter. Anybody who's watched this channel, anybody who's heard me talk about them, I love scooters. I really do. I love scooters a lot. They're so much fun to ride. This is just a cruising bike, period. Wow. Pan America. I'm being one of the bikes on the list. Not exactly a big, uh, not a bike that a lot of people like for some reason. This bike. This bike's really good. Really good motorcycle. I mean, for fifty thousand dollars, it better be really good. But very playful for its weight. This is actually a really playful bike. <laughs> Coming to a stop. I mean, yes, I've ridden. A lot of bikes. I've ridden, but I still do recall the first time I rode a bike of this size, and it's intimidating for people. It really is. You know, it. 
going to open my screen. I'm sorry about the wind, but it's... I need some air. You know, when you get these fairings, you get no air at all. It's intimidating, especially coming to a stop. That's some get up and go to it. it really does. It's got some get up and go. This is a really nice place to be. Really nice place to be. And this seat is, I'm, I'm dead serious when I say this. I've sat on a lot of seats on motorcycles this is the most comfortable seat that I've ever sat on in my life. I have never sat on anything this comfortable. Oh, wow. What a great motorcycle. What a great bike. Oh, man. Now this is this is phenomenal. Jixer. Yeah. Yeah. Um look, if you got fifty two grand or well after taxes and everything else, you're probably paying most closer to sixty. Um but oh, this is this is wonderful. This is wonderful. I mean, you could live on a bike like this for days. You know, this is really good. Really good. Big girl. It does not want to find neutral, I'll give it that. Does not want to find neutral. It's, uh, yeah, it is. Other than that, phenomenal bike. So yeah, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Classic, beautiful bike. Wonderful detail. I'll tell you what. You can't go wrong if you're going to spend the money. As always, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the ride.